Hey guys, Kevin from Kevin's Off-Road here. We've had a couple questions over the years about whether to mount shock absorbers with the can up or the can down, um, leaving the shaft in the other direction, either down or up. Um, the short answer is with hydraulic shocks, this is the old school sort of shocks that's not gas charged, um, typically you would have the can down. The reason for that is that if you turn it upside down, you end up with uh, valving issues. Um, I am not a shock expert in any way, shape, or form. However, my understanding is that the valving does not work properly when it's upside down. Now, with regard to gas charge shocks, typically it's can up on those. Um, the reason is because you'll get cavitation inside. Uh, the whole reason for the gas charge is to keep the uh, cavitation to a minimum. If you turn them upside down, cavitation happens anyway, so the shock ends up fading on you and um, you end up with uh, a really crappy ride and uh, your, your shock is not working properly. So each manufacturer has their own uh, recommendations and requirements as far as mounting is concerned. So my recommendation is to check with the manufacturer of the shocks that you're running and see what they have to say. Um, kind of the old school method is can down unless it says otherwise. So you can probably rest assured that if there's a manufacturer that requires can up, they're going to tell you about that in the install instructions. Uh, a couple of examples of can up shocks um, would be like the Bilstein, um, the Pro Comp MX6, um, and uh, you know a whole bunch of different various uh, gas charge shocks would would be mounted typically with with the can up. Um, again, hydraulic shocks typically would be mounted can down, but there's exceptions to both of those two rules. So uh, again, check with the manufacturer of the shocks and uh, make sure you're mounting them correctly. One of the benefits of having can up is that you get them up and out of the rocks and you get a little bit more clearance around the axle area uh, during articulation. So if you're looking for a brand new set of shocks, you may want to find something that's specifically mounted can up for that purpose. It uh, gives you just a little bit more clearance down at the axle area. So, um, yeah. So if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give us a shout. Um, send them off to sales at kevinsoffroad.com. And for more videos like this, check in at kevinsoffroad.com slash blog. Be more than happy to answer whatever questions you guys may have. Hopefully uh, you'll find uh, the information you're looking for. And if not, shoot us an email. We'll uh, get you an answer as quick as we can. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate your loyalty. Have a fantastic day.